Yo, we're gonna do a 2K expansion rebuild today. Uh, rebuilds are something I enjoy doing, and I thought, hey, why not record one and put one on the internet? Uh, I did put in six pre-existing expansion teams into the league here. As you can see, we have the Vancouver Ravens, the San Diego Surf, and the Kansas City Knights in the Western Conference of the NBA. And then over here, we have the Baltimore Barons, the Cincinnati Lions, and the Nashville Stars in the Eastern Conference. Uh, today, we're going to be taking over the Barons, rebuilding them from the expansion draft and seeing where it goes from there. Let's get it. Of course, we're going to see here all the good players protected. Surprisingly, Matisse Thibel is not protected, but I guess it kind of makes sense. I don't know. I kind of want Thibel over Drummond or Curry. I mean, Tyrese Maxey is an easy one. This is uh, this is already interesting. I'm looking at the first team. So we're going to see Thibel on the expansion draft board. Uh, Chris Middleton is not protected. Oh my gosh, but Pat Connaughton is? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so Chris Middleton is going to be on the draft board. Uh, let's see here. The Hawks decided, hey, I'm going to protect 33-year-old Danilo Gallinari instead of Kevin Herter when I'm trying to rebuild through my young core. That is uh, that is genius. Bro, tell me right now. Look at, okay, <laughs> look at this Lakers. Dude, can I change this? I can't, thank goodness. So they protect LeBron, AD, makes sense. They're gonna let Westbrook, <laughs> Anthony, and Howard in the draft. They're gonna protect, you know, their godforsaken Kendrick Nunn and DeAndre Jordan, who's absolutely washed and has no business being in the league anymore. You know, Malik Monks makes sense, but they're gonna, you know, let their best young asset walk away. THD gone. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> But they're gonna protect Trevor Ariza. They're like, yeah, we're gonna win right now and never have a chance ever again. <laughs> this is ridiculous. We got the Magic making better decisions than the Lakers here. <laughs> like, what's going on, bro? I don't know why. I'm obviously dumb because he would never be this low. But I thought this was Trey Young. And I don't know why I thought he'd ever be, you know, anywhere near here on any roster. But yeah, I thought it was Trey Young, and I was about to lose my shit. Uh, all right, no, no other, nothing else really crazy. I was pretty interested in that. Uh, let's go to the draft, I guess. Um, I don't even know. I don't even know how this is set up. What pick do we get? What do we? Baltimore. Bay. We're the fifth. See Chris Middleton, Draymond go off, Westbrook. I mean, I think I'm gonna go young. I think I want to do something, you know, like, kind of like a long-term rebuild almost. I think we're gonna take age into heavy consideration, but obviously overall is gonna need a lot. Spencer did what he would be a really nice first piece. Especially because I feel like, you know, any other guy I'd want is going to fall back to us. Just because any other, like Tyus Jones or Monte Morris would fall back to us. Just because the CPU is going to pick, like, idiots. So, I think Dinwiddie is the only logical pick here. Melo would be cool, but it just doesn't make any sense. So, yeah, let's do it. We can also move Dinwiddie to the two guard if I need to, if I want to pick back-to-back -back points. Uh, who we got here? Uh, the ages are just so gross. I think Tyus Jones. I mean, you want someone you can develop, right? Or I guess you want to make a garbage team so you can get first pick. I mean, there's two different routes here. I definitely want Xavier Tillman. I don't even know who this dude is, but um, he looks sexy. Yeah, man, I really feel like age is going to be in heavy consideration. And considering it's really just a two overall difference between Tyus Jones and those guys, do I take the risk? I don't feel like I take the risk. I'm cool with the young team. These guys, these guys could end up winning a chip with us later. Isn't that the goal? Yeah, let's do it. This Xavier Tillman individual, uh, Buddy Healed. I feel like Buddy Healed is gonna be such a nice trade piece. To be honest, way too nice to pass up on. I want this dude here. Man, I need to learn how to say these names. What Yurt Seven? I'm sure that's not how you say it. They're always harder than they look. Let's go, Buddy. Let's get that uh, trade piece in. Let's see. Uh, yeah, he's still here. I mean, shoot, why not? Y'all are old. Sounds good. Al Horford's still here, but he's like no trade value. That man's age is nothing. Look at his salary cap. Blech. Yeah, Boston, they thought they were going to deal with that man. Dude, Fournier. That's a trade piece, too. So is Jeremy Lamb. <laughs> Jeremy Lamb, that's all he's been his whole career. It's just a trade piece. I feel like, you know, keeping up the trend. Malik Beasley, I did harp on them for getting rid of him. I'm going to pick him next. Yeah, Malik Beasley is coming on the team next. I feel like I can get 
better value first. Yeah, I'm gonna get Evan Fournier, Fournier for some uh, trade value here. And then I'm going Malik Beasley next pick. Uh, these picks are all garbage. Expansion teams are just made to die, <laughs> or made to fail, I guess. But I mean, that's what you expect. If they come out and win the league, then something is broken, right? Uh, let's do Jeremy Lamb, and if Luke Kennard is still here, I don't see why we don't go for him. I should probably start looking farther down the board. I feel like I'm getting tunnel vision at the top here. Um, not really. Yeah, these guys are all garbage. I think I'm gonna go... Sorry, I'm sorry. I just need people that, you know, obviously like none of these players I'm picking now, well most likely, are gonna win a championship with us. So I feel like the move is to get some trade pieces and maybe get some draft picks or some younger players with them. Uh, we're gonna be garbage, you know, the first few years regardless. So, uh, Grayson Allen's cool, he's a cool guy. Uh, Bogdanovich is such a nice trade piece. A contending team would want to trade for him. Logically, but 2K isn't always logic, but we'll figure it out. It's better than Madden, Madden's just garbage. Oh look, Royce O'Neal just fell into our lap. I can't wait to pass up on him. Let me see. Alex Len, I remember when he was supposed to be a big deal too. Is he on Sacramento now? I don't even know that. Uh, Gary Harris is a bucket. I feel like I'm gonna pick Len just because my brain is telling me I need a power forward, even though I know it doesn't matter. But I'm gonna make it matter. Let's see. Uh, yeah, Alex Len's coming to the squad. Cool, is that it? This is the roster. Spencer did what he's the centerpiece. No, um. <laughs> Probably anyone older than 24, we're gonna be putting on the trade block. I, oh, also, I didn't even like go over the parameters for this rebuild. Um, I'm not gonna do any trade finder, cause trade finder, well, okay, I might dabble in trade finder, but I'm gonna try to make it somewhat realistic, you know? Like, I'm not gonna make trades, I'm not gonna accept stupid trades from the CPU that, you know, that team would never do, ever. Um, with that being said, I'm not, I'm not gonna, go out of my way to make sure it fits their bill. But uh, yeah, so I may I may dabble in some trade finder if I'm really desperate, but for the most part, I'll just be using the trade block, see what they offer from there, I guess. It's like that's probably the same thing, but who cares? All right, this is the trade block we got. I decided to cut the age after 26, just cause we had, you know, so many guys that are worth trading, just cause we're early. Uh, and the rebuild, so I feel like Spencer Dinwiddie and Buddy Heald definitely have to go, uh, just because we're not gonna win with them, someone else can, and we need draft picks. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm gonna simulate a couple weeks and I will meet you guys back if I have any trade offers. We're going into our first expansion game. Um, let's see who, uh, who drafted better. I'm sure they drafted more on overalls than on age, but um, yeah, great. We're gonna take our first L. Uh, da, da, da. Trey Young over here, dropping all the big bucks. I've gotten no trade offers. Um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna go to a team who is buying, and I'm going to uh, see what I can do. All right, I've been in negotiation with the Celtics for a second, and I think they might take this. Alex Lynn in two seconds for Romeo Linkford, who has a B plus potential, and he's only 22, and he takes it. All right. All right, got a decent trade here. Going for Kevin Knox, he's 22. Got a B plus potential for Spencer Dinwiddie and Grayson Allen, and we'll get Danilo Gar Gallinari just to make the salaries work and maybe move him again for maybe a pick or something. And they don't take it, but they have a counter. We got Saric, who we don't need at all, for Jalen Johnson. <laughs> Can we be greedy? Nah, not gonna be greedy. Yeah, I'll make the trade, hell yeah. All right, I threw Danilo Gallinari in the trade finder just to get a second round pick from him, and I didn't want to, you know, go around offering him to the whole league. Uh, so here's what we're gonna do: get a second round pick, make our team better. Let's see if I can move Buddy Heal. I feel like some team's gonna want him. He's been the talk of some trade rumors recently. A uh, first? I feel like that's somewhat realistic. A first for Buddy Heal? I feel like he's first round potential. I'm not saying I would do it as a Rockets fan. But I'm not saying it's super unrealistic to where I shouldn't take it. But with Armani Brooks, oh, he's gonna be garbage anyways. Yeah, let's do it. We're coming to snag Brian Forbes and a second round pick from San Antonio. I'm taking, I'm taking Thibault. Uh Who else am I looking to trade here? Bogdanovich and Muscala. 
And I think we can get on, maybe Forbes. No, I just bought Agdanovich and Muscala. And I think we can get on with getting top three lottery odds. All right, I'm taking Nwaba. Okay. All right, here is the explosion of a roster that I just made. Um, we got our future <laughs> uh, point guard here. He has a B-plus potential, so I feel like him starting now is pretty good. We got Malik Beasley, who, you know, won't be a long-term type of guy, but it's good to hold on to for now. It doesn't make too much sense to trade him. Uh, I would love to win a chip with Seibel on the team. I feel like he's going to be the building block, at least for now, until we draft someone worth our time. Jalen Johnson, I don't even know how he ended up on the team. I don't even remember taking him. Uh, yeah, year seven's going to be good for now. Same with Tillman. Should I start Tillman? He has better potential. Tillman has better potential. And he's just a little younger. Yeah, that's a better move. Uh, Luke Kennard. Yeah. You're going to stay where you are. Anyone that I want to be starting that isn't. I would like Romeo Langford getting some playing time. Uh, but he's just such a low overall. I'm going to have to wait for him to progress a little bit or else, you know, 2 is just going to keep switching him out. It's not even worth my time. Uh, yeah, I'll, you know, send to the rest of the season. We'll see how it goes there. All right, we made it to the end of the year. Uh, oh, Daniel Gafford, MIP. Yes, sir. Did, he was starting. He's the best player on our team. He's like 79 overall. <laughs> that makes the cut as best player for us. Okay. Of course, we did not get anywhere close to the playoffs, uh, which is good. We want those picks. Uh, ooh, Matisse Thibel, all defensive second team. Yeah, we're doing it like that. Yeah, the Hawks won the chip if anyone cares with the real Trey Young. All right, and where we shine, the draft lottery. Yes, sir. <laughs> Lined up for the second pick. But yeah, let's see if we can get this number one pick. Hey, we clutched up and dropped all the way down to the sixth pick. <laughs> you hate to see it. Uh, crap, bro. We're going to have to pick a number six. So here's what the draft class is looking like. Pretty much the notable names that you already know. Um, our scouting wasn't the best. I guess we were d expecting to pick all the way down here. <laughs> we we need a power forward that bad. But no, uh, we definitely want a top two pick. Definitely want one of these two guys. That would be the dream. So I'm gonna go see if I can trade for a top two pick. Uh, mm, yeah, I don't know. Jabari's overall is just a little low and I can't see anyone's potential. So yeah, I'm gonna go see if I can get that number two pick first, I guess. Bro, I think the Knicks, I'm gonna have to rewatch it, but I think the Knicks jumped up from like 10th overall or something to go all the way up to first, something ridiculous. Yo, take Malik Beasley, give it his pick. <gasps> no? How about the Bucks pick next year and the Yells pick in 2026? They don't like that. How about, the, how about if I give you the Bucks pick next year? All this to move up, give me check, buddy. Hey! All right, now we gotta go get Chet. Bro, the Knicks have like no cap space. And I don't really wanna trade picks. I feel like, yeah, we're picking at two. Two's, two's not bad. There goes the star to Chet Holgram. We're gonna go ahead and get God number two here. And damn, Jabari was the better pick. I don't know, he said he was a B minus. This dude was a B, I don't even know who this guy is. This guy was a B, but um, yeah, I decided to go with him because of that, but Jabari was a better pick. I'm not really tripping though. Yes, we won't run me with for it. what the hell? <laughs> We're just gonna drop him? Didn't we just trade for him or something? He's got an A minus potential, yeah, that guy's, he's that guy. We're keeping him. Maury Brooks, yeah, we need all these guys. Act like we got people to just give away. James Harden, sheesh. All right, we actually have a little bit of cap room. All the unimportant dudes left. Uh, we obviously just want to go for some young guys. Miles Bridges, that's such a big contract, but an A potential? They've been boosting the hell out of this man. <laughs> them, Hornets, them Hornets announcers has been doing him right. All the publicity. Ooh, and Mitchell Robinson is another one. We definitely want Miles Bridges first, though, because we just drafted what's going to be our center for like life. Yeah, I'm going to go get Sleeper Miles Bridges. Yeah, you can come for as long as you want. <laughs> Max contract. Uh, I don't know. I, 
haven't done in my NBA in so long. I don't even know what to offer. I feel like four years and a player option should get him here. Maybe increase the salary a little bit just to make sure. But I feel like, I feel like this should snag him. Oh, he's restricted. Crap. So is Aiden. I guess that makes sense. They're just off their rookie deals. I'm going to be going only after people out for their rookie deal, though. Oh, Mitchell Robinson. Here we go. We move someone to power forward. Nah, man. You're here for life. <laughs> you don't get away from us when you sign this. There's no outs. I'm cool with getting me some Lonnie Walker. Uh, you can be here as long as you want, buddy. Bro, Trey Young's here? We got to get Trey Young. Oh. Maybe next time. Whoa! We got all three of them? We can afford all three of them? Bro, I didn't even think about this. I didn't even, like, think about the possibility of us getting all these dudes. Uh... Well, we definitely want Miles Bridges. We definitely want Mitchell Robinson. And we definitely want Lonnie Walker. So I guess we just got three huge signings to just shift all of this over. They want to be part of an expansion team, why not? Oh, and some of those guys are restricted. I forgot about that. So it's not even a guarantee that we get those restricted guys. I know Miles Bridges was, and one of, someone else could have been. I feel like Malik Monk would be a good young guy to bring on. Uh, Yeah, let's see who we get. They didn't match Miles Bridges? Did we get him? Oh, come on, Hornets. Y'all can do better than that, bro. We have no salary cap. <laughs> That's fine, though. We got the core. We got our whole core for, like, the whole video. Uh, Miles Bridges, long-term. Yes, sir. We got our first-round draft pick at center. Oh, yeah, this team's going to come together. Uh, oh, yeah, center. We're a little too good at center, actually. We have three, like, startable centers. So that makes power forward kind of nice. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're honestly a little too stacked at big man. I kind of noticed that we were getting a lot of centers, but every center I picked up, I was like, I'll just move into power forward. And then <laughs> obviously we're running out of power forwards. Um, I'm actually good. My roster's fine. How many how many total guys do we have? Two, five, nine, 12, math, 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 16. Oh shit, yeah, we're good. Progression, the moment of truth. Uh, I really hoped Miles Bridges was gonna progress more than just his midi. What the hell? He's got an A potential. Oh well. Uh, we got Mitchell Robinson coming up a little bit. Xavier Tillman being the bucket he is. Uh, I yeah, someone's gotta move the power forward because these are a lot of good centers I have. Maybe even a small forward. Who's short? Oh, this dude's six ten, six eight six. Oh, we got some short ass centers. Yeah, somebody's moving to small forward probably. I don't even know. Uh. Jalen Johnson went up a little bit. Malik Monk, Lonnie Walker went up slightly. I was hoping we'd get some bigger boosts. Ooh, Sharif Cooper, that's actually big. Yeah, I like that. He's kind of sort of playable now. <laughs> All right, so player progression didn't do great for us, but I mean, it wasn't the worst thing in the world. At least we had some progression. Uh, I think I'll do a loaded draft class for one more year. I know they start getting a little shaky after you do too many of them. So I'm just gonna come in and say this is the last one. You look like you update your roster, so I trust you. Oh, I forgot about Bronny James. Now maybe maybe we'll go one more just for Bronny. All right, here's the roster. Uh, what year is this? 2022? Yeah, start of 2022. 2022-2023 season. Uh, the roster is nice. This Ranchero dude is gonna be starting. Ah, and then we got Mitchell Robinson. Yeah, I definitely need someone to move to small forward. No, I was not probably even gonna be playing at all. I'm gonna move one of these big men to small forward and I'll be right back. All right, so Mitchell Robinson cannot really move. Whoa, am I tripping? Oh, I am tripping, okay. He could move to power forward. Uh, right now, this guy's gonna be a good power forward. I'm gonna need one small forward out of these guys. Who's the best small forward option? Probably Miles Bridges. I feel like that's kind of easy actually. I can move Miles Bridges to small forward. He can start there. And we'll see how the roster looks after I did all that. All right, so Miles Bridges, Miles Bridges is starting our first round pick. Let me figure out how to say his name so I don't have to call him that. Uh, so anyways, this is what the roster looks like. Uh, we got Sharif Cooper running point. Lonnie Walker at two guard, then Miles Bridges, Bonchero. We got Mitchell Robinson, and then Gafford coming off the bench. He just won MIP. I don't know if I love him coming off the bench, but I feel like that's our best choice at this point. 
Um, he's been at Washington twice, okay. Um, anyways, we got Xavier Tillman coming off the bench, which I am okay with. Uh, Malik Monk, that's the reason we signed him. We got Matisse Thibel is a little lower on the bench than I thought. I thought he'd progress a little bit better, but I guess not. He'll just be that bench role player for us. And Nawaba, I definitely, pro no, I'm going to cut Nawaba, just so he doesn't take playing time from anybody else. Yeah, so he's gone. And now we have Jalen Johnson actually playing, which is good. So yeah, that's what the roster's looking like. Ah, uh, we might, we might be able to sneak into a 10 seed. Oh, actually, there's 36 teams now. So, uh, oof. <laughs> Making the playoffs is significantly harder. But yeah, I like the roster. Uh, I feel like everyone on the roster kind of has a purpose at this point. We don't really have any dead weight. Hey, we're in the play-in. Um, Trey Young, the real one, one MVP, dope. Uh, we're gonna skip past that, that's embarrassing. All right, we are in the first play-in appearance, postseason appearance, I guess I should say, in Barron's history. What are we over here? All right, let's try to make it. We need one win in two games, come on. We got it, fucking clutch, dude. Leak Monk dropped 28, what? <laughs> He's that guy. We signed him for a bench option. He just comes in and goes off. All right, we in here with the playoffs against the uh, MVP real Trey Young. Lose the first one. Lose the second. Oh, we take a win? Something slight? We held him to 72 points. I think we're gods. We're destined for greatness. This is our year. Two and two. This is it. This is our year. 34 for the go. We got people showing up. All they have is Trey Young. We're gonna act like these guys aren't here. All they have is Trey Young. Let's get it. We're winning another one. That one doesn't count. That's what I'm talking about. Three, three. Malik Monk is that guy, dude. Where is he on our? Is he starting now or something? No. This man is our. Where is he? He's our eighth man. He's just dropping buckets on everybody. <laughs> what? Start that man. We're, yeah, you're starting for this game. Lonnie, you're a bucket and I want you for the future, but you are not Malik Monk, bro. <laughs> yeah, Malik Monk is getting those minutes. And we're gonna win, because he's a god. Malik! <laughs> he leads in the team and scoring. Lonnie's like, bro, <laughs> he did everything he could. Yo, that's crazy. Malik is leading the squad. Now he's starting for a reason. Whoa, what is happening, bro? Four, eight, six, seven. I mean, this side's one, two, three, four, all normal and stuff. And we, our highest seed is four. <laughs> six, seven, eight. That's insane. Well, we're breezing to the chip. We got Malik Monk. Who cares about that game or that one? We can come back from 3 0, if anything. 2 2. Malik Monk, baby. Oh, shoot. Um. Well, he's still dropping buckets. How do I switch games? I like this. Yeah, bro. He's like the leading scorer every game. Besides one of our losses. This is the one. No! Malik! What, did he get hurt? Ah, he did everything he could, man. <laughs> Six for 12. That's not, I mean, that's not atrocious. Bro, the Eastern Conference will never be this easy again. <laughs> we had to lose now. There it is. Grizzlies win it all. I've been watching a lot of John Morant recently, actually. I do it's a demon. LeBron James is out. Carmelo <laughs> on an expansion team is out. Chris Paul's out. That's pretty cool. Well, Marcus Aldridge, is that the same expansion team? <laughs> they were just, just old as hell. Who cares about rebuilding? We're gonna we're gonna make a retirement home. That's what they said. Moment of truth. Oh yeah, I forgot we did good. <laughs> oh look, a beautiful number 26. We just traded the Bucks pick. How'd they do? Yo. Yo, we would have had the 11th pick. That Bucks pick actually did good. I thought Giannis was gonna carry them, so that's why I traded it. Right, who we got? Ooh, Amari Bailey's still on the board? Bro, they're sleeping on this man. I'm at 26. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, we don't have potential figured out. Oh, McKayson Wallace got that potential though. Oh, this is tough. I can't see Amari Bailey's potential. Okay. If I was a creator, you know, if I was making a draft class and I was making Amari Bailey, no way I don't give him high potential, bro. That's the thought process I'm picking him. 
All right, I am very unfamiliar with this draft class. I think the only guy I know, I know Imani Bates, and I know, I forgot who he picked, but I, I, I know who he is from UCLA, and that's it. Those are the only two players I know, so I guess that's why I went up. Oh, I know Brandon Miller. I think that's why whenever I saw Amari Bailey available, I just thought, like, why the hell <laughs> do I know a guy at the 26th pick in next year's draft? Yeah, A minus, but yeah, he's a demon. A few expiring contracts here. Got a few team options, though. I think we're gonna bring back everybody, yeah. I don't see why not. I mean, Amari Brooks, yeah, why not? Wasn't he starting point guard for us? Cool. All right, we have no cap space. I think we still have a mid-level exception, though. Um, let me look at the roster, see who we need. I really don't wanna sign anybody. Yeah, I really don't wanna sign anybody. I wanna, I wanna see these younger guys progress. I wanna see how this goes. I definitely want Romeo Linkford and Banton back. I don't have to freaking look for him. Oh, look, Langford's right here. Hello, friend. How long would you like? To oh, he could be our mid-level exception. That's a dub. Um, you're not getting a bird, though. <laughs> hey, yo, we got the boy back. All right, the moment of truth. Let's look at progression. Yes, sir. Benchero, number one overall draft pick out here, or number two overall, our first round draft pick. Wasn't he the first pick in Baron's franchise history? Yeah, word. Uh, he's 84, best player on the team. Bridges is going out so slow. That's so unfortunate. Mitchell, what is wrong with you, Brad? <laughs> you need to go up and overall. Daniel Gafford is that guy. Uh, yeah, bro. Oh, Sharif Cooper. What was his potential again? Only B plus. Yeah, that man's that man's thriving though. Malik Monk doesn't go up. Neither does Lonnie Walker. This is such an L. I'm gonna have to actually trade. I feel like I have the pieces to make this a championship team with a few trades. So I feel like that's what I'm going for now. All right, the real last draft class, just so I can get Bronny in here. All right, this is the squad kind of looking like a play-in team again. Not gonna lie. Uh, I think it's time to make some championship moves. All right, blockbuster trade. We're selling house. Three firsts, Sharif Cooper and Mitchell Robinson for Lonzo Ball and Alex Caruso. We're going for that shit, baby. All right, and here's the team after the trade. We got Lonzo Ball, the new centerpiece, Paolo Benchero. We got Miles Bridges, Lonnie Walker, and Xavier Tillman to start the lineup off. Lonzo may have some progression left in him, so maybe in a couple years we'll be that team. Hey, yo, uh, Lonzo propelling us to the end of this year. The real Trey Young wins MVP again. Uh, I don't see any other notable names here. And we're not in any of the first three All-NBA teams. At least Lonzo got an All-NBA or All-Defensive first team. Um, yeah, we, are, we didn't show up at all, surprisingly, for a second seed in the conference. <laughs> uh, let's let's get through this play-in. See, we're playing the Cavs. I'm sure they still have their normal young core around them. Win game one. Lose game two. Yikes. Miles Bridges, what is Lonzo doing? Lonzo, step it up, Brody. <laughs> we only dropped 99. It was a close game before that, too. Yeah, that ain't gonna fly. Y'all gotta step this shit up. We lost the. We're gonna lose to the Cavs, bro. Psych, 3 2. We're that team. We're that team. We're that team. <laughs> a little bit of a scare there. Going to the second round, playing the Celtics. Win game one, lose game two and three. Take game four, though. Gonna win game five and finish it off with a game six win. We're that team going to the conference finals. Why are the Rockets here, bro? <laughs> what? Anyways, uh, see who the Sixers got. Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. And they kind of got Tobias Harris. He's kind of garbage. But, I mean, it's really the same roster. We match up with them fine. Joel Embiid is just a monster. Uh, we just got to limit him. We won't be able to slow him down. Uh, the rest of our team is better besides this center matchup. So I'm feeling okay, I'm feeling okay. See if we can take off some clutch wins. We lose game one and two. Take game three though. Oh, down three, one, three, two. Let them pull the Warriors. Psych, we lose in the conference. Hey, that's a good step. Cause all we have next is getting better in progression. And um, we just made the conference championship, and I really didn't think, or what is it, the conference finals in basketball? Oh, Trey Young retired. Bruh. 
Then he like just won MVP. Bronny James goes to the Vancouver Ravens. Damn, bro, all these with the top three picks are all expansion teams. Yeah, that means we're doing good. <laughs> uh, oh! Yo! Yeah, nah, bruh. No. I get. Oh, he probably just wanted more money because he knows he's worth more. Dude, can we afford him? Oh my god, bro. I'm gonna I'm I'm end it. Like, this rebuild's over if we do not get Alonzo back. Oh my god, my heart dropped. I was using 95. Okay, um. Where you at, Alonzo? We are negative in cap. We're still giving him a max. We can go. Oh, wait. No, we're not negative in cap. Wait, 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 wait. Can we get Lonzo? Or LaMelo? We gonna upgrade a ball brother? <laughs> we can give Lonzo a big ass contract though, man. Five years, no way he turns that down. Caruso, isn't that, oh yeah. That's fine, we'll get him back. Uh, Can you not, can you not do this? That'd be cool, cool. Oh, Lonzo's coming, do we get, oh we don't get LaMelo. Uh, Malik, yeah, he can, ah, uh, he's a good bench piece, he doesn't need to walk. Romeo Langford, is he not progressing or something? Isn't he supposed to be a god? Uh, yeah, he's supposed to progress more by now. Maybe, maybe I just don't know about the, the potential rating in, in 2K like I thought I did. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take Caruso, take Ball, and this, it's not a super max, but it's a five year. Oh, Lamella Ball left, so. Oh, wow, they matched my sheet, so he would've came here? I don't know if that's what that means, but. I'm gonna start offering some dudes. <laughs> uh, AD, I feel like is worth that big ass contract, and so is Anthony. Yeah, Anthony Edwards could get this contract, bro. He could take every dime of money that I have, and whatever helps you come here. Okay. Anthony Edwards agreed. Do we even have the cap to keep them all, bro? This is crazy. Oh no! I mean, it makes sense. I didn't even know he was restricted. What? Yo, what? <laughs> okay. Damn, that's tough. That's so tough. Can I get anyone else? We got Cat up here. We got DeJounte Murray. Yeah, bro, y'all are all getting contract offers, man. Apparently everyone wants to come to the Barons. One NBA, <laughs> one, one conference finals appearance and everyone thinks that the Barons are the way to go. And you know, I'm not complaining about it. <laughs> Let's get Cat up here. Come on, Cat. Come to the squad, bro. You know we win it at all. We're we're that new super team everyone wants to join. What's it looking like? Yo, Cat agreed. I, I don't know if he can get matched or not. Uh, Yeah, we'll take all of them. For some reason, we can sign all of them. So I'm just gonna do it. No. Chill. No. I mean, I, I guess I'd rather have Lonzo than Cat. That's tough. Oh yeah, we have no fucking cap room, bro. So our mid-level exception is 10 mil. Um, let's get to that 10 mil category. I guess I should look at the roster first and see what we need. Point guard, yeah, we're solid. Shooting guard, we're solid. Small, we could, yeah, we could use some depth at small forward. Uh, power forward is actually fine. Does anyone play small forward here? Oh, Jalen Johnson does. So. What happened to all our centers? <laughs> all right, well, we're signing a center here. <laughs> uh, oh, I forgot about Tillman, too. Oh, he's a center. Yeah, we want him back. Malik Monk. No, you guys don't have to walk, you know? <laughs> Y'all can, can stick around. You know? Okay. Um, 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 we're going to take, we're going to take Kamitsky. George Brooks wants to sign now. Yeah, let's do it. We just have cap out the ass, apparently. Um, yeah, anyone who wants to come back on that qualifying offer, you're more than welcome to. Like, cough, cough, Xavier Tillman. Whenever you feel like it, buddy. We'll take you for a year. This is our championship year. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll take everybody. Moment of truth. Player progression. Lonzo went up. Oh, my God. This dude's going to be a god for us. He's only 21. Uh, Daniel Gafford, we got Amari Bailey skyrocketing. I knew, bro, I knew he should not have been available. What pick did we get him? 26, yeah, right, 81 overall, 20 years old. Uh, Caruso's regressing, I don't like to see that, but it's okay. All right, we're eighth in power rankings going into the year. We got Lonzo, Amari Bailey, Miles Bridges. Yeah, this team, 
This team is like that. Caruso isn't even getting minutes. That's tough. We just signed him, bro. <laughs> he just took our money for three years and said, I'm going to be garbage. I am accepting the first half decent offer that's <laughs> that somebody offers me for him. Hey, Josh Richardson. You're, yeah, you're better overall. <laughs> we'll do it. Uh, Kaminsky's not getting minutes. That is an L. I have too many players, bro. I need to trade some of these assets for a bigger name. But it's like cap just isn't a thing, you know? Yo, low key? Miles Bridges and Romeo Langford? This can this is doable, bro. Nah, this is doable. Let me give him a let me give him a first. No way, bro. This is so doable. I will however many firsts it takes. No way we can't get Zach Levine on this trade. I'm giving you three firsts. Oh my god, it actually worked. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, this this is this is ridiculous. Mari Bailey. We got Levine in the lineup. Oh my goodness, bruh. This is demonic. Lonzo, Zach Levine, Paolo Banchero, George Brooks at center. Why? Why is Gafford not? You know what? Oh, he's a power forward now. That's right. Well, I'm about to move him back to center. All right, yeah, does that that Zach Levine trade was huge, man. Lonzo, Amari Bailey, Zach Levine. Yeah, nah, bruh. We're we're championship contenders. Lonnie's supposed to be that guy for us. He did not progress. That is so dumb. <laughs> Potential, I guess, does not matter as much as I thought it did, but it's cool. All right, let's uh let's go with a chip. Screw it. With as stacked of a roster as we have, I guess it makes sense. We don't have any all stars, but I was definitely expecting <laughs> to have at least one. Uh, we're first in power rankings, second in the conference. Uh, let's look at these stats. Beans only has 23, but I feel like those are all star numbers. I don't know, man. Lonzo's make you know, dishing some dimes. Pa Paolo over here got nine rebounds. You know, none of my business, though. None of my business. I think they got snubbed. Lonzo watching his brother get MVP. Oh, I forgot Mikey Williams is in Bronny's draft class. Rookie of the year. Look at that name, bro. Giannis. Okay, Amari Bailey gets MIP. Yes, sir. Is this our coach? This looks like our coach. It looks like someone that we'd hire as an expansion team. Yo, no all NBA teams again? Why? Lonzo gets all defensive second team. We're just a cohesive unit. Our players don't stand out, you know, individually. <laughs> they just operate together. What are we, the first seed? Yeah. Let's go ahead and just simulate the whole playoffs, get this whole thing over with. Whoa! <laughs> I'm getting all cocky over here. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna take that. Take a slight win against the Cavs like it's nothing. Expansion team dubs. First expansion team to win a NBA Finals. Going back to the conference finals for our second straight year. You know how it goes. One and one. We're not scared though. Lonzo against Lamelo. We're not. Whoo! Lonzo. Oh, is that Lamelo? I don't even know. Oh, that is Lamelo. Shoot. I was about to say he's going off. Uh. Lonzo's doing okay. He's doing okay. Come on. Come on. 3-2. We're going with Sincast this time. Got to see it work out. Ooh, this is a blowout. This is a blowout. Barons, the first expansion team to go to the NBA Finals. Yes, sir. Baltimore Barons, and we don't see another expansion team here because that would have been embarrassing. Oh, didn't ja, did Jaw win the chip last year? I don't know. He definitely won a chip, though. Win game one, game two. You know how you know what's coming. You know what's coming. The Baltimore Barons are the first team, not only to win an NBA Finals, but to sweep a team in the NBA Finals. Hey, yes, sir. Lonzo Ball, really? The person who shifted the whole franchise. We traded for him and everything was up from there. Uh, hell yeah. Well, that'll do it. I, <laughs> I've been, how long am I been recording? Two hours, that's not too bad. Two hours for five years. And I didn't like, I wasn't on the game the whole time. And this is the team that we ended up with. Probably could have repeated. Probably could have made a little dynasty out of this. Um, maybe I'll make some more rebuilding videos in the future. I love doing them. Uh, front office stuff is always fun to me. So, so yeah, I appreciate the view. Leave a like on your way out. Next video coming soon.